it was the darkest hour of the night and the silence of the night was as deafening as a static and motionless river even the drop of the tiniest pins in a pool of water will create a big sound with huge vibrations the heaven being spread with this pallid screen and the heart with the darkest vegetation their meeting line at the horizon was marked darkness and its accomplished evil had magnificently taking their positions as the champions and the victors of the night are deep inside the belly of the roko tree were seated strange beings of the darkness and they were ready to have their usual meeting where evil strategies and demonic plans are concocted to damn and destroy the destinies of humans the stage was set and the officers and administrators of the gate of hell were set as usual to offer the necessary support and strength to the converging evil beings called emiris gown 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 the sound of the tall and crocodile shaped gong reverberated throughout the belly of the roko tree gown 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 the sound blasted through the night again for the second time gown 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 the gong sound shook the environment of the belly of the roko tree once again for the third time as if trying to summon the remaining forces of the dark world to be attentive and to come together the blood stained and evil looking forerunner of the queen of the night beating the gong finally opened her mouth to talk the time is here the hour has come the mistresses and maids of the dark world are gathering she paused and looked around the environment of the belly of the roko tree she looked to the right and the left and nodded her head she looked again at the blue fire burning in front of her and that of the maidens that were gathered and nodded her head again like that of a lizard that fell from the top of a tree sleep she continued deep sleep should befall all outsiders and non partakers in this night and darkest hour she dropped the gong and stick she had used to beat it like she continued the incantation like a day old baby sleeps novice men and women should fall soundly asleep it is so and done chorus the mean looking and evil minded maidens who were already seated for the night meeting in the spacious inner belly of the roko tree maidens she continued now looking directly at the seated maidens of the dark world and princesses of the evil world the emirates i greet and welcome you to this hour when we concoct strategies to destabilize the destinies of black-haired human beings the gods and the evil one himself will sanction all decision we will make today it is so and done the maidens chorus the king in unison the foreigner swiftly turned leftward and hurriedly moved towards a black and big pot wrapped with red and black stripes of cloth she picked up the cup on top of the covered cloth opened it and dipped the cup into the pot and drew out a cup full of blood she looked intently at the cup filled with blood smiled and turned swiftly rightward and hurriedly left to the other end of the place of meeting where a clay shaped human head was hung on a blood stained sword as she cried out heavily as she poured the blood from the cup over the day clay shaped human head hung on the sword as it is sure for the rain to fall in the rainy season it is sure for our meeting to end well as it is sure for morning to come after night so it is sure for our meeting to end well today it is so and done
chorus the seated maidens in unison again. Maidens, the foreigner said after returning to her original position. Princesses of the evil world, once again you are welcome. The queen of darkness and the emirates will welcome you. She will be joining us in a moment. Just as the last word dropped from the mouth of the foreigner, there was a loud sound that would naturally, naturally rupture the eardrum of human, ordinary human beings. This was followed by a cloud of thick smoke that dropped from the top and also issued out from a section of the meeting arena. Suddenly, a huge and ugly looking beast appeared and led a team of entourage consisting of three beautiful maidens in front, the queen of the night in the middle, and another three beautiful and almost naked maidens at the back. The foreigner went on her knees and bowed her head in obeisance and to welcome the queen of the emirates into their midst. The other seated maidens stood up hurriedly, went on their knees and also bowed their heads in obeisance and to welcome the queen into their midst. The queen of the emirates took her position on a seat made with the head of a lion. The two groups of three maidens took their positions, kneeling in front and at the back of the queen. You are welcome, the queen of the night said, the maidens of the night, the princess senses of the evil world. You are welcome to the coven again. There was silence as the maidens of the night remained in their kneeling and bowing positions. Maidens of the night, the queen shouted again, waving to the maidens and the foreigner to take their sitting positions again. Queen of the evil world, the maidens answered in unison. Maidens of the evil world, the queen shouted again. No glory for men, the maidens replied, looking tenaciously at their leader. Maidens of the evil world, queen of the evil world. Maidens of the evil world, no glory for men. After the last statement by the maidens of the night, there was a big shout from one hand of the belly of the Roku tree. The gong sound and beats also came alive again as the belly of the Roku tree shook to its root. Maidens, the queen of the emirates, suddenly shouted while the noise stopped abruptly. A shadow that fails to trail its owner will cease to become a shadow. A tree that suddenly stops bringing forth fruit will stop being a tree. She suddenly rose from her seated position and moved swiftly into the midst of the seated maidens with anger written all over her face and sweat dripping from both sides of her head like the thickness of blood. Maidens, she shouted again. We have been sleeping just like ordinary men do these days. Ordinary black-haired men may be sleeping, but we can't afford to sleep. We have got work to do. She went back to her seated position, while the maidens of the night followed her back to her seat, with their eyes still steadfastly glued to her. When the queen of the emirates is in such a mood, they always knew there was a great deal of work at hand. When the queen continued the incantation, when the sun becomes red, the heart becomes hot. When the clouds are heavy, the rain is near. It's time for real work on careless sons of men. It's time to disturb and delay their destinies. There is work to be done. The atmosphere in the belly of the Roko tree became dumb and deaf. Deep silence imposed itself on the surrounding environment. Maidens waited to know the next line of action for them. They are tro they are this troubled lass of the heart and troubled lass of the glory of men waited assiduously for instructions from their queen and leader. We are going on a fresh mission. The queen sh shook off the dead silence and summoned her second in command to come nearer to her and to bring her left ear closer to her mouth. She mumbled some words into her ears and bid her 
carry out her instructions. The second in command quickly gathered the other maidens together in a circle and delivered the mistress' instructions to them, while standing in their midst with their heads and ears drawn towards her. There was so much noise and shout after the maidens received instruction from the queen through the forerunner. The forerunner also began to beat the gong again, while two of the maidens immediately positioned themselves on the drum set and began to dance and rejoice to pour out the blood from their corpse as a libation on the ground.